So, you watched our video on how to make the most affordable and best cross cart spool out there. You were impressed, but now you may have some questions. Like, what if I want to use a different size sprocket? Or what if I want to use a different size shaft? Or some of you may have thought, these guys are idiots. They don't even have a spot to put the rear brake. Well, these are all valid criticisms, so today we're going to try and answer all these questions and show you how to make a completely modular build the spec spool. So the main issue is that you can make the spool for cheap, but you can't use the exact parts you want to. So that's what we will be covering here today. Now the tool we are going to need is Fusion 360, and if you haven't seen this before, or don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch our previous video. So basically this tool will allow you to make the spool however you want. So let's get started. Now that we're in Fusion, you can see that this is the plate, the sprocket side plate from the first video about the spool. So we can see where you put the center bore in and then the inner circle would be the axle mounting positions and then the outer circle would be the sprocket mounting positions. So what what this is is I just drew the spool or the, the plate and then um, I exported the, a profile of the plate as a DXF file. Now this is what the DXF file looks like in Fusion. But this is what you're going to use when you go to actually get your laser part, or when you go to get it laser cut, this is what you're going to send the either to the website that we'll have linked down below, or to your local machine shop. So now we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to make the, these flanges to fit whatever size center shaft, uh, sprocket, or brake caliber that you want. So. We're going to go into a new, open up a new file. We're going to sketch, and then you can put it on any plane you want. It doesn't matter. So let's say you want to use your, uh, you need to, your weld on flange or center bore piece. Let's say you need, uh, it has to be an inch and a quarter to properly fit. So I'm going to draw an inch and a quarter circle. And let's say you want to use the same Miata axles. So I'm going to make another circle here. Um, we'll just put it out here for now. Um, they were 12 millimeter holes, I believe. So I'll just put that there. So now this is going to be the center of my flange. Um, what, all you really have to do now is measure across on the holes, like here. Just measure the distance from this hole to this hole, divide it by two. And then that's going to be your distance from the center hole to your um, center your hole to your center of your flange. So those are 100 millimeters across. So I'm going to just use 50 millimeters. And now I'm going to create a circular pattern. So I'm going to select the object. The circle is the object, and a center point, the center of my spool. And I'm going to have four holes because it's a four bolt flange, or four, the axle needs four bolts. So let's say you use that um, axle. And now you have a sprocket out here. Let's say you have a six hole sprocket or a four hole. Uh, you just, all you have to do is measure across and divide by two. But now if you have a five hole sprocket that's going to be a little bit different, you're actually going to measure the distance between this hole and this hole. Now I'll link the tool below, but what you're going to actually end up doing is taking that distance and putting it into uh, side A here. So let's say those two and a half inches. We could go three inches. And you're going to look for the distance of big R here. Now, big R ended up being 2.55 inches. So let's say I have a 5 bolt um, sprocket. So I can go 2.5, uh, let's say these are another uh, quarter inch holes or something like that. I can measure 2.55. Now if your holes are a little too close, you can 
uh, use a reference line like I showed in the last video and just offset your holes now here it's probably fine but I'll just go with a circular pattern same thing I'm gonna select this object and the center point and I could have let's say I have a four hole sprocket it'll end up like that a five hole sprocket it'll look like that or a six hole sprocket it'll look like that let's just go with a six hole so now I've got all the holes for my axle my center shaft my sprocket or brake disc so now I'm going to draw another circle to encompass the whole flange now this can be however big you want um, I'm thinking about six and a quarter inches looks pretty good there across so there's my flange on a 2d plane now I just this is not required but I like to make a actually draw the full part so if I want to use quarter inch steel I'm just going to extrude it a quarter inch so now I actually have the plate here the actual flange that I'm going to be using so now I need to make the DXF file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create another sketch on top of the plate that I just drew and I'm going to select P and I'm going to project that whole profile onto my sketch and just finish that sketch and I'm going to open up this sub tab here um, I don't need to look at the body anymore I can just look at this um, sketch here and you're going to want to make sure all the lines are purple now I'm just going to hit save and then save as a DXF file and then now you have your parts now one thing to make note of is when you are laser cutting um, the smallest dimension you can have is the thickness of your material now if that sounds kind of confusing it's not really so if my material is a quarter inch thick the smallest dimension I can have is a quarter inch thick which means or is a quarter inch so the smallest hole I can put in here is a quarter inch or the gap between here and here has to be at least a quarter inch that's one thing to make note of is when you're laser cutting is you got to design to those constraints so now that you know how to make custom flanges from this video and on top of the information from the previous spool video you should be able to now make a cheap seventy dollar spool however you want to fit your exact needs so if you like the video, uh, show some support and drop a like. Comment if you have any questions. And if you're new to the channel, uh, we'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, thank you guys, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.